Welcome back to your balance diet of Tell It Amen, the Good Morning Niger Show. Yes, as I tell you, now actually our Faji Filler feel good edition of the show. So a lot of smiles today. Um, a lot of smiles today. Um, now, time for us to give you our top story of the day. And we want to make you put your mouth inside. Because this one, eh? Now, time for us to talk. Oh. We want to make you talk to us this morning. We're not just want to be the only one when you talk inside the studio. Make you talk to us. Because now, the Ekiti State Governor, can you they fire me? He don't talk something where they very, very important. He said for Niger to grow, for Niger to reduce all this money where they spend up and down, for Niger to stop all this money where they borrow up and down, we need to scrap the Senate. See all the senators over there, see, so make we scrap them. Don't forget that we get about 109 senators um, where they sit down for inside the House of Senate, now the Ninth Assembly, and uh, we know say the money where they earn. Now, something we would not discuss over and over again. But now, in the comments, I talk, say, um, say, me the scrap ammo in order to save Nigeria the cost and reduce the financial burden where this government don't put on top of their head. Now, he also advocates for the adoption of Stephen Rossaye's report, where they recommend, say, make them merge government agencies where they perform um, similar functions. Say, if we get the one where we minister of, uh, uh, we get Ministry of Women Affairs, we get another Ministry of Women Empowerment. Say, rather than getting two different ministries, let them merge them together because that's the same thing that they do. We get the Ministry of Youth, we get another one of Ministry of Youth Employment. So it's not the same thing that they do. Let them come and merge them together so that the cost when Nigeria, they actually bear, we can actually reduce them. Now, what do come as I talk? We are in bespeak this one. If we speak um, uh, for inside one panel session on the sidelines of the 25th edition of the Nigeria Economic Summit, where they be tagged Nigeria 2050, shifting the gears um, according by the report where they actually get. Now, it become as I talk, say, the type of legislative system where go they very, very productive. Where Nigeria people go, they smile. Where we're for inside, we do Nigeria. Say this one, uh, say the kind of for Nigeria. In this current economic situation, now the one way that they call a unicameral legislature. So not the one where they get House of Reps, we get Senate. So that one not go feel work for us. So. Now if we talk, say, um, for inside previous uh, report, they will report how Rochas Okorocha is senator where they represent Imo State um, West Senatorial District. We express the same similar idea. So rather than us having um, the uh, Senate, we make we scrap the Senate. And rather than us having the same ministry where they perform the same thing, make we merge them together. In the comments I talk this one, a lot of people too, they of the opinion, say we need to scrap the Senate and also we need to merge a lot of um, ministries the way they perform the same function. Now, still not forget, say we get about 109 senators where they sit down for on top of that seat for inside the House of um, inside the Senate House, and also for House of Rep, we get about 360 representatives then where they for inside the House. So we see their functions. Now we see a lot of Nigerians and a lot of people they come outside that. Even the governor of Ekiti State, Kayo De Fayani, they come outside talk say, this one not too much burden for us. What do you think, our people? Exactly. Now, the question with the common side they ask, because right about now, if they count the lawmakers, that's about 469 exactly. lawmakers for inside the country. But looking at the cost of um, the cost of the governance or the cost for inside the, the running cost, because right now, uh, one of, according to waiting, one of the lawmakers, the politician come outside talk, the money will come outside call as the running cost. And they come outside talk, say, this money will they talk of who? So now, just to run their office. They make people not talk too much on top of them because this money is not a money that just enters all our coffer and our pocket. You see, other people too, with these and they feed other people will be breadwinners for inside their respective homes or their respective places. So, in don't come outside, they be come outside, we give this, this same statement. And people, not forgetting, not too long ago, when the lawmakers will come outside, be the clamor for um, the acts or toxic, well, based on their position and their offices, say they need money to actually buy. Um, um, the new four-wheel four drive or the SUVs in this particular case. And people come outside, they talk, say, don't forget, if this lawmakers, on the way they talk, three quarters of an people where they return in, on top of our position. And now, you guys are asking for more money. The cost of governance in Nigeria, you don't, they're quite high. And even though they try checkmate everything, because if you look at the budget of 2020, a lot of the money where they won't use for budget 2020, the money where they try gather from, um, from other expenses, other non 
all revenue um, sectors, such as VAT. They said by increasing VAT, that's some of the ways where they would make sure say they go fit, um, make sure say that our budget is as credible and as feasible as possible. So many things there we, um, we concern this one uh, concerning the scrapping of the Senate. But um, at this point, just as we talk, duplicating a lot of duties by waiting some people, they come outside, they talk, say that they see. Mm -hmm. But inside this, our, our administration and in our country at large, how necessary is it? If we talk to money, no day. And yet, we see these people taking so much money home as their allowances and basic salary. It then make people they ask, say, those people, then they're there for our own good or they're there for their own good. Because even during the election, Ubi, if you see where money is being spent mm -hmm. for campaigns, because a lot of these people are talking about is elected, it's by election. And then they put some, a lot of them for inside. Because every state has three senatorial districts. And from those three districts, they elect one person. Apart from the FCT, where they bring one person out. So that the six state times three, 108 plus FCT, one, which is 109. That is how we have 109 senators for inside our country. Not even not to go too far. Now, talking about the cost, a senator in a year, they actually earn up to like... 24 million, if not even more than that. Mm -hmm. Now, apart from that, no, well, that one, it, just like you, if they work for company now, you get your own basic salary. So that salary, this about 20 something million, different from other benefits. Allowances. So and this that is that their basic now, we're talking about. Now, just list some of the allowances. Yes, mm -hmm. allowances where they earn. Now, they say they will give them vehicle fueling allowances. They will give them vehicle maintenance to fuel your vehicle, to even maintain them. They will even give them constituency allowance. They will give them domestic staff, all those nanny where they get for house. They go, they pay their staff. Personal assistant too. Senators, they get personal assistant. Oh, they go cute. pay, they will give their allowance for their personal assistant. Entertainment recess. For them to they chop where well, where for house. For them to they entertain people where well, where well, to get minerals for inside fridge, that they give them allowance. Utility. Your Nepal bill, you that they give them allowance there. Even newspaper, for them to read newspaper alone, they get allowance on top of them. For clothes, do they for inside their wardrobe? For them to get better agbada, that they give them allowance inside. For them to get duty tour, for them to tour around, whether that's in our brother, one go Nigeria. But it's duty, so work related. Um, I think that it's just a work related. Mm -hmm. You understand? One go to America, it's work related. They will give you money. So a lot of allowances where really the senators they actually earn. And that's why um, the governor of um, Ekiti State, Kayode Fayemi, they come outside talk, say, because of this cost, say, they're too much. Now, if you even read more, they talk, say, after the four years where a senator don't stay for inside the seat, so they go pay them an extra 24 million. So that one will be compensation. So you do well for four years. So this one I just report we're actually there online. This one will be pension. It's, no. not, it's not pension no, benefits. But they receive pension now. So yeah, it's, it's not, this uh, one is, it's not no. is it gratuity? No, they're There's going to no give you like, you don't work for four years and you don't dedicate yourself for Nigeria um, people. Wow, so they will so give hard. you some money for, to pat you for back. So looking at this money where they spend, that's now why a lot of people they come outside, they talk, say, make we scrap the Senate. Even the governor of Vicky State now they come outside talk, let me scrap them. Did they talk say Nigeria not get money? Let us increase VAT. Nigeria people now go they buy something, but they go add money on top of it because tax don't actually increase. VAT VAT don't increase. And see, rather than us looking at that, make we scrap the Senate so that we go save costs for example Budo Nigeria. What do you think about them? You feel say at this point we need to actually scrap the Senate. Or we need to, other than scrapping them, which, I, which we know say our constitution does not even give provisions for that, rather than scrapping the Senate, you feel that we need to reduce the costs where we actually spend on senators. We never even enter House of Reps, so we'll be about 306. We'll talk about senators. So what do you think about them? Talk to us this morning, 0090321452. Now our phone numbers where you need to send me. Send them now on top of WhatsApp. Or tell us the states where you send them from and your name. 08090321452. Now, so we will actually come out implement this one if, if people actually come out and clamor for it. Is it not it's the same lawmakers it's that we are clamoring I... against? Now, nobody they're supposed to come create this law and go and come say, okay, oh, for because we know you have come out and you said it, and when they see how they pinch on our body, we are willing to cut our body small just so we can benefit. Will our lawmakers do that? <laughs> Question for another day. All right, but just keep your messages coming in because we'll see a lot of them, they actually watch the show and then they listen to the voice of the people. Now we get uh, messages on top of them. Uh, well, tell you, Simic, you actually send us messages with your name and your location. You come outside, talk, say, good morning, Wazobia Max. Um, I am um, 
Okon Nufwa by name, and I just support the motion of scrapping them all because I don't see what they're all doing, just sitting there wasting our money all the way from Edo State. Thank you so much for that, your comment this morning. Um, you get another message for you. Say, personally, I support scrapping the Senate and the ministries. Okay. Um, we get um, Pastor Gwero. You talk, say, this is, that's the way forward. Until that is done, we no go move forward. All right. Um, we also get another message from here. Uh, you say your name now, Bayano from Lecky. You say, I believe Mr. Fayemi uh, made a good point because our senators, they, they fight for their own benefits. We know they see any achievement. I hope say scrapping that will be the best way forward. Now, um, of course, another message they for here. And this one they say the labor union should not always struggle for salary increment. They take up the rally for decrease, they should take up rally for decreasing all political office holders' salaries. Mm, all right. Mm, okay, good one. We also get JJ Piano from Ikorodu, Lagos. You say, I'm so much in support of that suggestion. Please, government should scrap Senate positions. God bless Nigeria. So many messages they come in. You talk to your name now, Musa from Lekki. He said, don't say oh, they clamor for scrapping of those senators and their offices. He said, even the third party where they benefit from the huge allowances where them they allocate give senators no be random Nigerians. Oh, you say now people where they support their political ambition. Better than scrap senators that government no go choke us to death with new tax laws every time. The money where they go save from scrapping them, may they add them inside money where they won't use to run with nation. Thanks and good morning. Thank you so much. Uh, we get Shay all the way from um, Ijegu area of Lagos. You see, I suggest they shouldn't just cancel them. Instead, make them reduce their allowances and make them give them some working conditions. If the working conditions do not meet them, then they fit to remove them one by each. To enjoy more of this, our will get videos when you just watch. Press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.